Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to really quickly go over how I import my drawings into um, into Cricut for cutting. Somebody had asked about that, so I thought I'd show real quick how to do that. A um, couple things, I've got it all dimensioned out here. Um, these four pieces down here in this corner will not be cut by the, the Cricut maker, so I'm going to turn those off. Those That's the base frame, because they're actually cut out of dowel wood and uh, these four pieces up here are actually cut out of 132nd thick plywood or uh, basswood and everything else is 116th so they'll be done separately but I'm going to do them at the same time as this um, what I do is the first thing I do is you see everything all these dimensions are in fractions well I need to change that to a to um, decimal and you'll see why here in a, in a little bit so I change this to decimal here then I go to the dimensions and I select all the dimensions and you can see that they update to where they're dimensioned although I want the units to be three digits not five so now let me go back to the dimensions select all dimensions now you can see that they've all changed to a three dot three decimal spot that's important so now what I do is I print this out onto a piece of paper, or I'll just leave it up for our sake. I'll leave it up. Uh, I won't be able to switch screens. Anyway, um, I'll print this out on a piece of paper so that we know what the dimensions are. And you'll see why here in a little bit. So let me turn off the dimensions. That's the next part. And I have one here called, uh, one layer called Cricut and that's the Cricut dimensions and you can see here that should have been under dimensions escape that should have been under dimensions that's weird anyway um, you want to make sure that the width of this and the height of it the, or the width and the height are 12 inches from the highest point to the lowest point. If they're not, you can also. If all you need to do is just remember what the dimensions are uh, for late, for the import, and you'll see here, like I say, in a little bit, what that means. Um, but also, something that's important is you can see when I zoom in that along this line, you can see this edge here, and you can see that the side there, and over here, you can see this side, and this one looks straight on. You want them all to be the same so what you do is you go to your camera settings and switch to parallel projection instead of perspective and that flattens the image to where you can't see the sides from the top so now when I zoom out everything is nice and flat so let me turn off these Cricut dimensions and we go file export 2d graphic Now I'm just going to save it here, which I've actually already saved it from a previous thing here. This miniature bar or miniature bar mini cricket PNG. You want to use a PNG because it's got a, a transparent background. So you go to the options and you make sure that that transparent background box is checked. These don't worry about that because we're going to change that once we import it. Select OK and then hit export, which I'm not going to export it because I already have. So let me switch to the cricket and I'll be right back. Here's Cricut. Hit a new project. Let me open this up. Now, we go into image. I'm sorry, upload. Upload images, which I've already got one uploaded here. But you go to upload image, browse, take that one there and import it. Click open. Hit simple. Continue. Preview to make sure that everything looks you know nice and good and there's no extraneous marks or anything like that and then hit continue and you want to select this save as cut image I'm not going to save it now because like I say I've already got it saved exactly the way this is so hit cancel I'm gonna hit cancel now I want to upload or uh, import images I'm gonna to go to filter uh, uploaded not my images but uploaded and this is the one that we just did right here so I'm going to insert that 
image into the file. And you can see here that the dimensions 9.153 and 9.139 are not 12 by 12 like we had set it. So you unlock, you can either unlock it here or you can unlock it using that button there. But it's already unlocked, so we hit this and we make it 12 inches by 12 inches. And you'll notice here that it comes up with an error message saying that it's too large. Don't worry about it because we're going to change it around before we use it. And that makes it the right size for everything. That's why we did the 12 inches by 12 inches so that we could do that. If you didn't change it by 12 inches by 12 inches, you just basically remember what you used and um, put it to those dimensions. Now, the one problem that, that I'm finding with this, and I don't know how to fix it otherwise, is let me zoom in real close. You can see here that the corner is odd. It's, it kind of swoops up, and it's got this little cutout here, and it's only on every, on every single corner it does that. See, it's, it's swooping up like that. And the first time I tried to cut that, it took forever to cut that little tiny corner because it tried to make every single little cut right there. So what I do instead is I take my shapes square and I'm going to make remake this one here and you unlock it and this is why I printed it out on a piece of paper you go 0.458 for the width and 0.677 0.677 as the height no it's 0.667 turn the dimensions back on 0.677 and 0.458 and that's the size of that so I have to go through and do every single one of those so now I can duplicate that move it here take that one and that one group them together duplicate that move those there and we're good to go for some reason that's off anyway let me zoom back out to 100% so you can see everything. There you can see all the pieces that are there. Now to make this piece here, you have to do a cutout. So I'm going to make a new shape, make a square. I'm going to bring it over here just for the sake of, of so it's not in the way. And I'm going to set this for at 16 and 1. <coughs> And I know that it is six inches wide by two and a quarter inches high. And then what I do for the cutout part is I will need to make another box. And this one here is four inches wide. Unlock four inches wide by three quarters of an inch high. And then what I want to do is I want to position this in the spot that it needs to be, which it's one and a half inches down. If you look back here, see so you've got one and a half inches from there to there, and it's one inch in. So this being one inch down, I need to move this to two point five which puts it there and then I need to make it since this is on 16 I need to make this 17 for the one inch in so then I select both of those together and I go down here to the slice button and I hit slice and that takes that piece out leaving that behind now I can take that and drag it back over here and that goes out. So then I go through and I cut all the pieces out and then after I get all the pieces put on I turn off this layer and you have all the pieces left behind. I'm going to stop. Um, now let me uh, switch to an actual project here that I've done. My projects. This one here. Customize, replace, 
this is what I'm left with. Now what? Now what I've done here is I've separated out uh, the wood that I cut is six inches wide by twelve inches long. It's actually twenty-four inches long, but I just cut it in half so that I've got two pieces that are twelve inches by six inches, and then I go through and I arrange all of the pieces to where they'll fit within the six inch width and the 12 inch length which it like this and i put this one on one color so that they're on a different mat than these ones this one on this piece here i actually cut out by hand so i don't end up actually cutting this on the maker but i do have the part on here because it's six inches wide and it's just easy to cut a three inch piece off of the six inch wide. And then these pieces here are all three quarter in, or a one thirty second inch ply or a basswood. So it gets put on, they get put on their own as well. And the basswood that I use is four inches wide by 24 inches long. So that has to be done differently as well. So once I get everything positioned, then I can hit the make it button. And then this I can take as the whole group and I put my piece in the middle of the mat just to make it to where I have eat, can tape it down better and so I just position it between the three and the nine and it's the 12 inch length and same with this one I move it over to there with this one here I take those pieces there and I rotate it holding the shift button down kind of locks it and then I just move it over here on the four and five like that and this one here I don't worry about so anyway then you continue now I have I have found that these settings for the wood don't work that well. So what I do instead is for the 1 16th inch plywood or basswood, I use the mat board four ply. It seems to work much better. And for the 1 32nd inch, I use the tooling leather four to five ounce setting. For, for the 1 32nd inch. It seems to work much better. It doesn't cut as many times. Um, I've actually ruined my cutting mat because the knife blade was cutting through so many times and cut through so deep that it just cut right through the mat board. So anyway, I leave the, the pressure setting as default. And so using that, it still uses the knife blade to cut with actually I'm on the wrong one but that's okay and I use the, the default pressure and by doing this it also leaves just a little bit of the wood attached to where I have to go through and cut the rest of the way through which is fine at least it's not cutting through the board and through the mat and ruining the mat so anyway after this you just basically uh, load it up and it cut it the way you normally would anyway that's cancel this that's how I um, that's how I transfer my drawings to the Cricut to cut instead of cutting by hands. A lot of times I'll cut by hand if it's real simple and few, very few pieces, but I found that this Cricut cutter works really, really well at cutting good, nice square pieces and at the dimensions I need them to be. So anyway, um, hope this was informative and. Um, be sure to leave comments below what you think. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. I try to answer every single question and every comment that's, that's posted. So anyway, um, I've got all these pieces cut out already and most of it's put together and for this bar that I'm building. And I should have it done and posted tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a better day as I always say.